My 30M wife, 30F, confessed I wasn't her first choice and I'm freaking out. So, in order for you to understand the whole situation, I need to explain everything from the beginning. I, 30M, have a wife, Kate, 30F. We dated for three years before getting married four years ago. We have known each other for around 10 years. We met in college and initially we were just friend. I started liking her after a couple of months but I was too shy and coward to confess. I had problems as a child so my self-esteem was one-tenth. In our friend group, there was this other guy, Mark, 31M. Mark was the opposite of me. He was an extrovert. I was an introvert. He was the funny type. The center of the friend group. While I was one of those followers you wouldn't even notice if they were absent. Kate wasn't the classic beauty but for me she has always been the brightest star in the sky. She is kind, funny, compassionate, caring. She is the kind of woman anybody would want at his side. The year we graduated college. I was finally starting to come out from my shell. I talked more, voiced my opinion with my friends. All those things that until the year before looked impossible for me, suddenly looked possible. I was still scared but one day I decided to confess my feelings to Kate. She didn't answer immediately and, thinking back, I question why the past me never had doubt about her reaction. She told me she didn't expect it and that she needed some time to think about it. For one week I was more tense than a violin string. One day she called me and she agreed to going out with me and we have been dating ever since. The past seven years have been the happiest of my life and I have to admit Kate reciprocating my feelings was a big boost for my self-esteem. Me and Kate have been happy together until now. We had fun. We laughed, joked and faced every problem together. Recently, though, Kate confessed me the truth. I wasn't her first choice. Apparently during that week between my confession and her reply, she confessed to Mark and asked him out but he rejected her. She admitted that she initially went out with me simply because I was a kind guy and she wanted someone to be with but that after she knew me better. She fell in love with me for real. I know it doesn't make sense logically but I'm freaking out. I love her and she loves me but in my mind I constantly feel this voice that tell me I wasn't worthy enough and that she simply settled for me after her first choice rejected her. I can't seem to focus on anything else and this has been influencing negatively my private life and my work. I need advices on what to do. TLDR. My wife confessed she originally settled for me after the guy she liked rejected her. I'm freaking out. ETA. I see people keep asking about the circumstances and the reason why she told me the truth. Basically we were drinking some wine and remembering our time in college and the argument of when we started dating came out. She confessed the truth because she felt bad about starting our relationship with a lie and wanted to come clean. Why did she tell you this? Dude, I think we all can feel you here. If it helps, for almost all of us, unless we married our childhood sweetheart, which comes with its own baggage, we married a third, fifth, or tenth choice. We fall in love, we get crushes, we want people, it's what humans do. The question isn't the order in time that you fall in. It's the order in rightness. You wound up being who Kate needed and wanted. You won. If it bothers you that Kate could ever have wanted anyone else. You'll just need to get over that. But she had to shoot her shot with Mark. Just as you had to shoot your shot with her. It didn't work out for her. So she took a chance on you. And she hit the jackpot. My wife is my 15th or 20th choice if we're going by order of selection. But she's the only choice now. We find what we need by finding out what won't work for us. Mark was never going to work for her. And it sounds like she knows it. Take the win. Edited to answer a since deleted comment.
Yes. My wife knows I have loved other women. And I know she has loved other men. Because we talk. And because we care a great deal more about our future together than the past that got us to the point where we can love one another as we do. We aren't novices at relationships. And we don't sit around grudging the people from whom we learned this skill called love. Even when those people were abject failures, grand passions, or the love of our lives for a brief period. Are you her first choice now? That should be what really matters. Seven years ago neither of you knew if you were right for each other when you started dating. You don't stay with someone that long just cause they're nice. He was her first choice as a date at that time. Not for the rest of her life. They weren't together. She wasn't in love with him. She was just more interested in him based on what she knew at the time. Then she got to know you and fell in love with you. Would she have chosen him on your one year anniversary? Your wedding day? Now? No. Because he's not her first choice. Just that one point in time based on what she knew at that time. As a fellow introvert, I'm sure you know that we keep some of ourselves hidden from all but the group of people we feel most comfortable with. She made her decision at the time based on not even knowing the real you. Then she had the opportunity and chose you. Your wife wasn't limited in life to you or that other dude. She wouldn't have stayed with you if she didn't want to be there. So, dot emo you need to figure out a way to get past this before you push her away. Look, it was a dumb decision for her to tell you that. There was nothing to gain except for her to clear her conscience. You already said you know it shouldn't be a big deal so I'ma just repeat this for you to help it. Sink it. It's not a big deal. Emo. You weren't her second choice because she wasn't deciding who to marry that week. She was shooting her shot for someone with whom she had developed feelings for first it isn't. Matter of her settling for you. She may have settled for a date with you four years ago but that was enough for her to realize she actually likes you for real. Both of y'all are reading too much into the significance of her decision to date you after her initial crush rejected her. It's not like she was trying to marry him and he said no and so then decided you were the best she was gonna get. Literally no one ends up with their first choice. Usually the first choice isn't the best choice. A college crush is in no way comparable to a 7-year relationship and 4-year marriage. She's with you because she wants to be with you. She said yes to a date because her first choice at the time turned her down. You were shy. So she did not know you well. You kept dating and as she got to know you. Her lives slowly built. That is actually terrific. She did not want you superficially. But love slowly built as you began to know one another. That is beautiful in the pillars upon which a forever relationship is built. By the time she said, I do, she came to love you and you became first to her by choice. First choice doesn't equal the right choice. Remember how many people look back at their first crush or first relationship and wonder what on earth they were thinking. You don't want to be someone's first choice. You want to be their right choice. Just going to say, super selfish of her to bring this up now only serves her selfish need to absolve her own guilt and could only cause pain to you especially so many years later nothing positive could have come from this revelation on your end of things it is what it is it doesn't change how much she cared for you since then probably 99 percent of couples were a second choice at some point you can't punish her for this or hold it against her Honestly, I wouldn't make too much of it. I know it hurts your feelings a bit that when you asked her out. At that time she was crushing on someone else. It happens more than you know. But what matters is that she made the right decision and you have a great marriage now. I have a similar story about my wife and I when we met. 
That was 30 years ago and we are still happy. Now, if your wife is still in contact with that guy and she's fantasizing about him or some such thing, then yes, that's an issue. Otherwise, see it for what it was and move on. Honestly, it sounds like you were the one prompting her to confront Mark with her feelings and move on. I get how that makes you feel like a second choice but it's more like to her heart you were the second option because at first she was interested in Mark. Option, not choice. Eventually, when it was time to make a choice, she chose you. Yes, Mark rejected her but she also chose you over 4 billion other potential men on the planet. She married you because she fell in love with you. Who cares if she liked another dude before she dated you? Let this go and consider therapy for your insecurity issues so you don't have to suffer so much. When something feels threatening, heart. Unless she's having regrets there was no reason to share that at all. She either is doing this to hurt you or she just has no social awareness. You all need to seek a qualified therapist. So there are two things going on here. The most important one is that what she said was hurtful. It's an insensitive thing to say to your so who you have built a great relationship with. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. It doesn't help anybody to say it out loud many years later. The next is a hard truth. In most relationships, one, or even both, of the people in that relationship will have settled. It is rare in dating to get your first choice. The absolute most ideal person you've ever met. We almost always have to adjust our expectations a little and go for someone who is a little less ideal but still good enough to make a great partner. So the fact that you weren't your wife's first choice shouldn't really be a surprise. In fact, if you really think about it, your wife probably wasn't your first choice either. There were probably other girls you found a little bit more attractive but you couldn't work up the courage to ask them out. And that's all okay, people don't need to date their first choice. But when you decide to commit to someone, you make them your top priority in life. And that's what matters. So yeah, I think if you guys have made each other the top priority in life, and you want to continue doing that, and your relationship is good, then this isn't a reason to break that apart. Why does it matter? He rejected her and now she is in love with you. Win-win. It was obviously something that weighed on her mind and she felt like you deserved to know the whole truth. And truths like that come out better while drinking. It probably wasn't a great idea for her to do but it's been said now and it can't be undone. Honestly I settled for my partner in a way. He had asked me out in the past and I had said no initially. I didn't think I was that into him. Much like how your wife ended up trying with you because you were a kind and safe person. That's what I did too. And it worked out. Sometimes the safe, kind option that we don't think much of at first is in fact the right choice. Mark was probably every girl's choice in your group the obvious choice in a way. But you were the right choice for her and it took his rejection for her to give you the try you deserved. And it worked. She fell in love with you because of it. You can move past this, perhaps seek therapy? She chooses you every single day, remember that. The thing is that love isn't the initial attraction that causes you to date in the first place. It's what you build after that starting point. Your story is more unusual than hers is. You had feelings for her for years. You acted on those feelings and the relationship ended up working out the way you imagined it would. Work out. That's the way it works out in stories. And it's very rarely what most people experience. Which is the reason we like to read stories about it. All the people I've been head over heels in love with weren't even attractive to me when I first met them. The pattern was like, this person is interesting, then, I guess in a certain light they are attractive to this person is literally the only attractive person in the universe. 
What I'm saying is up till now your romantic life has been a fairy tale. And now you're experiencing some of the rough edges of it. Maybe she agreed with to go out with you because you were nice and safe. But why she agreed doesn't necessarily correspond to how hard she fell after. If your relationship has been passionate, there's no reason to believe she sees you as a safe option now. There's a lot of not ideal reasons someone will agree to a first date. But people don't go exclusive with you for years and then marry you for the same reasons they say yes to a first date. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.